All right, let's get into the Olympics Last Supper and the white horse rider. That was white, shiny metal, not pale horse. The pale is green. Now, they're telling you something, though, because the green ties to your money. It ties to the pet row dollar. Um, and that pet row is when that doggy paddle just comes out or whatever because the four horsemen in your minds are about to be ran. And unfortunately, the sad deal is going to be put on the back of the unbroken horse and they're going to break that horse with that sad deal and they're going to ride that bitch. All right. And this is when these living waters are going to be offered to these four horsemen so-called that's riding around in your head and they're going to be looking for the waters of Eden and all these things so the Pegasus is the son of Poseidon it is the water horse John is the sign of the water god that's why he brought the baptism okay and then Jesus is uh, the earth god okay because they're the ones who, there's a positive and negative, and then the water god is the one that resides in the heavens and the airs or whatever, and that would be a signal of Lucifer, okay? Because it should be the three in one. Lucifer is the one in heaven, and then uh, Satan is cast down. That's losing your five track of your five senses and believing the world and all these other things and not believing what your self tells you. And then Jesus is rising up out of whatever. So one's negative, one's positive, one's neutral, residing in heaven. So that's where Lucifer, that light, he's the light bearer. He has all seven lights of the candlestick and he's overcome them because he has a handle on them. So you got to get a handle on them so you get a handle on the reins on the four horsemen that's riding around the world right now that I've been tracking since 2020 with the visions that have been given that are coming and breaking open right now. Okay, so the four horsemen are going from a spiritual to a carnal. And this is the time the church is going to know they are left behind, that the Christians are going to be gathered. Because it's not mocking God, it's mocking Christianity. And Christianity, your history tells you, is from the cult of Mithra. Ra is Ra El. Mithra is what does the literal water baptism where you go and take a bath in front of the people with the dude dunking you okay the dun king the don king well he's coming um it's your dawn of time at your light bear for your 1611 1911 9-11 version um the olympics the 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 Pell Rider is the money, and it's the sick, the sickness, and the sickness ties to the purple, the purple flower, and that's the lotus, the lot us who got out of Sodom and those things, and then it's also uh, the salty pillar, and the pill her, the pilgrims, um, and that ties into the Indian bread with the J.D. Vance and his wife, and the U.S. Ha, U.S. Ja, um, and the J for part of that. J that joint being smoked around and such because they got that joint marriage of the two uh, um, religions or whatever. Anyway, um, the Olympics, it's mocking so-called Christians. And then Jesus tells you about the church of Laodicea that takes you back to the beginning. Well, that's the cult of Mithra and such that worships that begotten son that Jesus called out in John 3. And then John 16, he says, you don't need to ask nothing. All right, so... Um, Paul's gospel and Jesus' gospel are not the same. Either way, it's mocking Christianity because they don't even know that they're just doing the same thing over and over and over again. They are the blind leading the blind, Jesus tells them. They are the children of hell. As they're the children of hell, they're going to rise up and create hell on earth. And they do this within themselves first and they bring it to everybody else because they're the children of division. They're not the children of multiplication. The children of division are in the garden set eastward where they think they know it's right but they can actually leave and go out into the whole earth and and discover there's a tree of life out there that i can partake in eve well the serpent gave her knowledge and they teach the serpents bad so this is where they want you to be dumb and that's the free dumb and that's the ad dumb and all these other things but either way 
So, <clears throat> Jesus tells you to come out of that church. That's the church now that they teach you that, hey, we're in this church age. Jesus says, come out. Okay, I'll see you later. That's what Jesus said too. He never went to church. He went to church telling them, they were, come out of there. Either way, it's the carnal representation of a spiritual thing. So it's the carnal Jew. It's the people that seek salvation. It's the wrong church. And that's where they're going to be gathered up through their bell worship. The Bible, the mark in the right hand and the mark in the right. Well, that's trans, blah, 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 blah. But Jesus said we can do all things. All sins are forgiven. So w which is it? It's where you're being lifted up in the hardness of your own hearts. Just like Moses, just like Paul. So either way, just like the church today. Just like your Bill of Rights was taken over by all these other amendments. But um, either way, Zeus had the Last Supper, Knights of the Round Table, different segments in your history, your stories, your myths, whatever, your folklore. They're all telling you the same story. And Jesus, the story of Jesus, tells you all the same things over and over and over again. And it's gathering those people that go back to the so-called beginning. All right. But that beginning, they tell you, well, that was when man came from monkeys. So you're going back to being a fucking monkey. Oh, beast man. Huh? <laughs> Sheep. Meh.